mad. We are crazy people. Crazy people, every one of us. This is a school, right? It's like this this association of this school now, right? Is now saying, oh, all this association that left this school, please donate back to the school because the school does not have school bus. We are mad. Every one of us, Nigeria, everybody is a scammer. We are all mad. That is why we must break it. Whether they like it or not, we will break that country up. I can assure you that last year, Dumari, so anybody that said Nigeria is not going to break before 2023, leave that to one side. We will create the problem. As I say, bad, bad people all over the place. Pray, 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 pray. The worst country all over the world. Look at it. This is a school, right? Look at the environment, right? Can you see? Can you see? Right? This is what we are saying to you. Two, three, and four years old. Are you assessing your child's funding entitlement? Let me move back and show you. Right? Are we not mad? How many of you in Nigeria today can have access to what I'm talking about? If not, you are crazy. How many of you? Can you see? Right? Education is what I'm discussing this morning. How many people in Nigeria can tell me this morning that you have access to, you know, have, are you as They are asking, look, they are asking a parent. This is what the, they're asking a parent. They are asking me. They are asking me. I don't need to go to church. I don't need to pray. 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 Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah. La ilaha La ilaha illa La ilaha Go to Saudi Arabia. They have good schools. Go to Jerusalem. Jesus. 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 I want to go to good school. I want to go to London. I want to go to America. Please. 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 Jesus. Jesus. No, it's all 419. It's all 419. Is all four one nine, but what they don't do is they don't tell you to have access to good education. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Saudi Arabia, they don't shout like you are shouting. In Saudi Arabia, they don't shout to ask for God, God, the God that you are calling from the top of this heaven. That is the heaven, Abi. So now they want you to go to heaven before you have access to education. Are we all not mad people? Eh? Are we not all crazy? Allah Hakba, 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 Allah Hakba. It's a forward nine. You don't have good education. You don't have. Yes, this is never. You're right. The contraction is a scam. Nigeria has been in war. So when people say somebody like me is creating war, you are stupid. You are stupid for using that language to say I am the one creating a war. We have been in war ever since the British came and destabilized the system that we set up before. It was the British government, that system here, that decided to come. We were living, look, even if we were living as a monkey, we were happy. But they came and they now match us with the Fulani, the nasty one. And that is why everybody is suffering now, right? That's why we are suffering. It's like telling this, my, <laughs> this is my sister that is going, you know, she's a Muslim. It's like now she says, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, before we go to school. You are mad. You don't need to pray before you go to school. Nigeria is a shit fucking old. Shit old. Pray. Go to Saudi Arabia. They don't need to pray before they send their children to school. They don't need to go to go to Jerusalem. Every child in Jerusalem must make sure that they go to school. Israel has the, the, the finest technology you can think of. The finest technology you can think of. But what they've done in Nigeria is they've allowed you go to Facebook now. Everywhere in a prayer, everywhere in a prayer, as you say something, they run after us. As you say, now we the only one we God offend for this world. Everywhere in our prayer, prayer, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. And sometimes you see them, you'll be asking, Shikon Shikon Eti Yawiri, sir. Shikon Shikon Eti Yawiri. It does not give you, yeah, even in Dubai, you can hear that. Even in Dubai, they don't need to pray, 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 pray before they send their children to school. It is only in that 419 country. They know what they are doing. It's all 419. Yes, their brain has been cooked for long. Look, they have roasted your brain, they have fried it, but yet you don't have access to education. Let's turn this on again. Can you see? All you need to do is, if you, are, if you have a child that is two, three, or four years old, they are now asking you, are you, are you, Ola Yomi Koiki, uh, let me see, Citizen AY, Anthony, Biafra, yeah, Yoruba people, are you assessing your child funding entitlement in location now? You see, they put question mark there. They put a question mark there. Shit, oh country. Shit, oh country. They will tell you to go and pray. You go to church, but yet you don't have good access to education. Can you see that? Can you see it? Shit, oh country. 419.
It's a 419 country. 419. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Even here, you see, what does it take? Can you see? No stopping. Monday to Friday, 8.15 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. 2.45 to 4 p.m. on the school entrance marking. Shit, old country. Every day, now prayer, prayer, prayer. Now prayer will kill every one of you. No health care, no primary care service. Let me show you another one. This is called primary care service for the people. Until we know that these are things that our, our, our mothers, they've worked very hard. They are now in their old age, but they cannot get access to being taken care of. Nobody's ready to take care of them. Nobody. They've turned all our, they've turned all our mothers to beggars from the Yoruba land to the Igbo land, even to the Niger Delta, even to the north. They've turned everybody to beggars. Go out there. Go on the street. Somebody dressed in a suit is begging for money. Everybody is begging for money. Everybody is begging for money because they don't have it. And then they say, hey, hey, they say, is the, is, the, is the most populous country. In the, you are mad. Africa and Nigeria is the most populous country in, the, in, in Africa. Africa are called African. We break that shit Oh, Hey, see, Mongoko, we are just doing what they call awareness campaign. We are trying to tell our people to prepare for the worst case scenario. Go and prepare. We've told you, go and fortify yourself. Go and fortify yourself with whatever you can use. If you know how to train, go and train how to use a weapon. If you know how to use juju, go and use that juju to prepare yourself for the worst case scenario. It's going to happen. It will happen. If you think it's not going to happen, this generation will break Nigeria. They think we're going to be easy with them. We're not going to be easy with them. This generation will break Nigeria. Now, look at where I was coming from and look at the environment again. Look at the environment again. You don't need God. You don't need prayer. All you need is a system that is working. But they know. They don't want to give you that system. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. We've been doing la ilaha illallah for 60 years. 60 years we've been doing la ilaha illallah. Shit, old country. It has turned some people to madness, but yet no education. Yet the government cannot offer you anything. If you pray from here to another 300 years, Nigerian government is a 419. Real 419. We've been praying for 60 years. 60 years. If God is good, it will have it will have make your politician hard to soften. Rather, their heart has become more hardened. They've become more hardened. Their heart has become more evil. Your politician heart has become more evil. <laughs> Somebody say, brother, calm down. No, you just have to tell them. Because our people are stupid. They will sit down there, they will watch this video, and they say, oh, that boy, that boy there is probably, you know, been, been, uh, uh, is trying to create a war. That's what some of you are saying. You are saying that we are trying to create a war in a country that has been in a war for how many years? That has been, you are, they've, bastardized our, they've bastardized our people. Our people has been, they go to churches and the mosque. I know what I'm talking about. How can people be going to church Monday to Sunday? Kilo day? Kilo day? Are we the one that killed Jesus? Are we the one that killed Jesus Christ? Are we the one that killed Muhammad? Eh? Why? Are we the one that killed those two people? But yet, those two people that we have been calling our politician heart has become more hardened. They've become more evil. Evil. Thank you very much. Evil evil all over the place we will tell you the question is let's come back again to it how many people can confirm this morning before we bring the broadcast to an end how many people can confirm that you have quality education how many people how many of your children in nigeria can confirm that they have quality i want more email low lonely good quality education how many people how many of your children have good quality education? How many of them? When, let me say something. I've said it so many times. If any diaspora, whether in UK, in Germany, they tell you Nigeria is good, tell them to renounce their passport, their citizenship, and come back home. 
you will see what they'll tell you if anyone of them is saying to you nigeria is good just tell them that it needs to go and renounce the passport that they have and come back home they can't do that they can't do that and if it's the one in uk just tell them can you tell us you know to yomi <laughs> koiki say they give your child child benefit every week can you transfer that to me every week and then i will know that nigeria is good they will not do that yes it's not about coming down people don't understand that but i can understand you know the person saying i should come down we have been bastardized for 60 years and it is time that we wake the spirit and the minds of our people and that is what we are doing we will wake the spirit up they will fight back our people will fight back we are just giving more time they will fight back they will say they will fight back they will what fight back fight back when the time comes it's just a matter of time we are building up we are building up we are building up you think we take it easy with them take it easy with them they've messed up everybody's life everybody's life have been messed up for a very long time and it is time that we end it enough is enough Little day, enough is enough our people are dying all over the place from Oman to Libya to Saudi Arabia you know how many Nigerians are suffering here in UK I have one at the moment what is sanction on my section 2 the sanction her she's a girl Nigerian Yoruba girl yeah in UK hey, she spoke to me two days ago she's been sanctioned just because she's asking for you know a right even though she has the right to be here they sanction her because she's going through a lot a lot a hey, mountain when you go through you think people live in uk they're going through a lot as well they have to sanction the girl section two do you know what that means for this country to put you on section two that means they'll put you in the psychiatric hospital for 28 days for somebody that has not done anything if nigeria was good does she have to be here does she have to be here that is the question i'm asking you does she have to be in this country put her on section two for the fault and the negligence of people in Nigeria. Yeah, there's no law in Nigeria. So there's no law. Hey, Timon Kokon. I say, say, man, you're pony. You think we're going to tell you everything we're going to do on social media? You're mad. It will happen. I'm just saying to those of you at home, my Yoruba people, go and fortify yourself. Go to your rural area. Tell them to beef you up with our juju. Put your juju on anytime because it will happen very, very soon. If the military think they have the military might, we will tell them that we still have what they call our own juju as well. The juju that we have has not gone anywhere. I won't be told Shawabawa at Nikoloma Bowon. It will happen. Say you create a Boko Haram to terrorize people in the southwest and southeast. It will happen very soon as well. Continue to terrorize us. I will not terrorize you very soon. Very, very soon. We are just playing the game that it will eventually kick in. You know when Manchester and Arsenal are playing, you see how tough it is. That is what we're going to do with the Nigerian government. They think we are joking. This is not a threat. It's going to happen. We are prepared and we are working on it. Every blessed day, we are working on it. Everyone that is from the Yoruba land, go and consult the oracle. Let the oracle tell you the kind of ajara to mama jesara. This is not about church or mosque. You know, leave that on one side. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Emmanuel Togba. Thank you very much, those of you that have joined us this morning. Nasty country. Everybody's suffering all over the place for the negligence of a system that never works. It never works in one day. Thank you very much, Mama Mujia de Sonia. We will deal with them. You will deal with Nigerian government. We will deal with them. The thing we are joking. Look at my face very well. My name is Ola Yomikoiki. Look at the face very well. We will deal with Nigerian government. We will deal with them. We are moving closer. The thing is a joke. We will deal with Nigerian government. The way they have dealt with a lot of us, we will deal with them as well. We will make sure that we get a Yoruba nation. We will get. You think we're going to wait for the UK and United Nations to come and break Nigeria? No, 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 no. When we break Nigeria, if the UK wants to deal with Yoruba nation, then so be it. If they don't want to deal with us, let them go and deal with the, with the Fulani people. They don't want to deal with the Fulani people. Yes, we move. If the, if the British think that we will wait for them to break Nigeria for us. No, no, no. We will break Nigeria. If they like, let them come and deal with us as a, as a, as a country. Then if they don't want to deal with us, so be it. Who cares? They put us under so much pressure. 
under this caliphate of this amalgamation, 1914 amalgamation, 1999 constitution. Uh, yesterday they say, hey, hey, go on. So they just know. So the British government just knew that go on came to this country with vast amount of money. And they're revealing that at the parliament yesterday. Shit, old country. They've been giving them the support for a very long time. They've been giving them support. Anyway, I gotta go now. I'm gonna catch my train. Thank you very much, those of you that have joined. Watch me again at 12 p.m. where we go back again. Oh, well, maybe about 12, 12 30, somewhere around there. I might be on about one o'clock uh, when we come back with Nigeria at the verge of break up. We will break Nigeria. Ah, hey, look at my face. Look, capture the face very well. Whether it's the DSS, MF, who give a fuck about all those agencies? We are talking about the Yoruba nation now. We are ready to sacrifice anything for it. Hey, catch up the face. Let them put it on their database. We will break Nigeria. Whether peacefully, violent, whether with war, Nigeria, whether it doesn't matter. Go and see what the IRA did with this country. You will understand where we are coming from. It's just a matter of time. Like I said to you, Ente Wanile, go and consult the oracle. That is the only way. Because where we go with you, might not go with the next person. So when 20 people go and consult the oracle, so that that way, that way they will know because some of you look let me say something some of you have spirit that they don't even have to do anything for you but because you have not built your spirit to that to that level you need forget about the spirit that they're telling you in the church and the mosque i'm not talking about that now i'm talking about your own real connection with the creator everybody has a connection with that creator without god of the jesus or the muhammad I'm not saying that there's no God of Jesus or Muhammad, but what I'm saying is that should not be the reason why you don't have a good hospital. That should not be the reason why you don't have a good education. So when you go to consult the oracle, let them consult it for you one at a time. Some of you, they'll only tell you to kill a small chicken, a white chicken. You kill that chicken, you are all safe. It would happen. Let me tell those of you in Nigeria that you think that we will not break Nigeria. When America came to rescue one person, they never consulted with the Nigerian government. When we are going to rescue the Yoruba people, we don't need to consult with the United Nations or the other part of the world. When America came to rescue one person, they never, hear this very well, when America was planning to come and, cons to come and rescue one person, the, even the Nigerian government was not aware. They never consulted any other person. So why should I consult any person on what we are doing? I don't have to consult anybody. Let every organization do their own. Everybody should be doing their own. Those that want diplomacy, let them go and do diplomacy. Those that want war, we will start fighting for war. Those that want violence, those that want to just do awareness, let everybody do what they have to do. So if you think that we are going to be waiting for United Nations and the United Arab and the uh, United Kingdom to come and break Nigeria for us, you are probably mad as well. When America came to rescue one person, they never consulted with anybody. They never consulted with anybody. They never consulted with anybody. Gowan came with so much money to this country, and now we are only finding out in 2020. So why do I need to consult the British government on what we want to do in Nigeria? They are mad. Capture my face very well. Look at the face. That face is not going to change, right? I'm not going to put on a mask like that one in Asorok. This is my real face. This face will not change. This face will break Nigeria. Have a very good morning. Bye for now.